western Wisconsin. But again, that's just a chance. We'll keep you posted right on the, throughout the newscast and into the night. Thanks, George. Walmart releases this rendering of its proposed new supercenter in downtown Green Bay today, along with a statement reading in part, quote, we've made significant changes to the original proposal that will allow for additional development on the site, end quote. Jennifer Ann Wilson takes a deeper look at just what that development opportunity is. Red brick and historical design elements are featured in this new rendering from Walmart. But it's the parking lot to the east of the store that makes this proposal really unique. This is about where Walmart's east parking lot would be. It's exactly the same as the last set of plans we saw, but what's different this time is that Walmart is offering the city the air above the parking lot. They're saying developers could potentially build office or residential space two, three, four, even five stories high. But if Walmart owns the ground and the city owns the air, how would that actually work? Well, that's complicated because how do you build above if I have no way to get there? You know, where's a lobby? You know, where's the, where's the stairwell? You know, how do I ramp up if I need someone to park there? And there's another potential problem. The drawing that we saw on Monday had those power lines on it and it went directly through the air right rectangle. Specifically, ATC power lines that service thousands of customers, according to WPS. Beyond that, Mayor Schmidt says the store is still too large for the Broadway district. City staff still needs to review the proposal, which will then go before the plan commission in two weeks. In Green Bay, Jennifer Ann Wilson, Action 2 News. A gun range.